So this time we're looking at talk and we're filming a video while we're uh, outside. Well, I'm outside, you might be inside at your computer. Um, just to show that these things can be done anywhere and anytime almost. Um, I'm on gate duty wearing a nice high-vis vest so that the students don't bother trying to escape. They'll see me here to catch them. Anyway, you don't need to know all that. What is talk? Um, if you have a uh, talk wrench, you might be trying to undo a nut of some kind and you're trying to cause rotation by applying a force. <laughs> that was a bus. Anyway, you apply a force at a particular distance, the distance from a pivot point, and uh, hopefully it'll rotate if that force at that distance is enough to uh, overcome the, the resistance that is in the uh, pivot point. Okay, the, you could call it a friction force applied at a smaller distance, uh, which is the, the um, from the center of the pivot, the sort of radial distance of the um, axle. Um, maybe filming outside is not a good idea, there's a lot of traffic noise. Anyway, um, so which force? It's the force that is applied um, perpendicular to the distance, so we've got a right angle here. Um, if the force was applied on an angle like this, you would have to find, using your uh, bit of trig and Pythagoras, you would have to find that perpendicular force. Okay, which distance? Again, from the pivot point, we're dealing with the perpendicular distance. Um, one example that we often have is a fishing rod. Fishing rod bends, and then you've got a force. Um, we're going to simplify this. The pivot point's sometimes a little bit hard to identify, but we'll just say the pivot point's at the end where the reel is, right in the middle of the reel. It's not, not exactly right, but it'll do. And we've got a force on the line pulling down, hopefully with a really, really big fish uh, on the end. Okay, the fish is minor because it is enjoying its physics. Anyway, rather than being caught. Um, so, uh, how we deal with this is we have to deal with the distance being the perpendicular distance. So, if we were looking at the distance from here to where the force applies, we would need um, a right, use a right angled triangle to find the perpendicular distance um, from that point of where the pivot point is. Okay, so we use a little bit of trig, a little bit of Pythagoras, whatever, to give us our perpendicular distance d, and that's multiplied by the force applied along that um, that position. Okay, now sometimes torque is called the turning force, and this is because when we start talking about rotational motion, so something that's turning might be a disc you would apply a force at a particular radius which is your distance and you use that to cause it to accelerate um, in an angular sense okay so you make it speed up you make the disc speed up um, and so uh, you can start using torque um, to discuss not to talk about because that's confusing if you use torque to talk about okay you start using torque to discuss the uh, angular acceleration, which is getting into a year 13 level or a level 3 NCA in New Zealand. Okay, so that's enough anyway. All you need to know about torque. Torque is a turning force. Oh, sometimes they're called moments. And you talk about clockwise, clockwise torques. Oh, we'll give you the formula too. I've talked about it, but you'll see the symbol T, which is a sort of a T. It's tau, Greek letter T A U. Um, equals force times distance. We've talked about force times distance. Um, so the moment, the anti-clockwise moment or the clockwise moment, uh, I've done that back to front, that's clockwise, that's anti-clockwise, follows your your digital, not your digital, your uh, hands on a clock to tell the time. Um, but coming back to the formula really quickly there, um, the units for force are newtons, units for distance is meters, you multiply that together and it gives you Newton meters, the units for force. It's a little bit scattered, a little bit distracted with all the road noise and uh, even some road works going on over the road. But that's what talk is all about.